Animals adapt to their environment, so it's no surprise that the deer that evolved in the rainforest is small with reduced antlers that don't get caught in all that vegetation. When there is danger, the deer dives into the dense undergrowth and keeps its head low. The red brocket deer does not bound and bounce across an open field. That's what the white-tailed deer does. The red brocket deer lives from Mexico to Argentina and is active by day or night. The red brocket deer reproduces any time of the year and the doe gives birth to a single fawn. They will come out of the forest to feed and drink, but they are always wary of predators. While they do eat leaves, brocket deer feed more on seeds and fruit compared to their browsing relatives. Hard and tough seeds that go uneaten by other species will ferment in the deer's gut. This may detoxify any poisons and release more nutrients. Even a frog can make them jumpy. The mother usually leaves her fawn in a hidden place while she forages. But as the fawn gets older and more curious, the mother has to follow a moving target. This deer went out for a drink one night, only to be the first to witness an alien invasion. As usual, there's another explanation. A herd of peccaries on the move. Rocket deer often poop and piss in the water so predators can't find their scent. However, when a predator does locate them, speed is the best option. Even that doesn't always save the day. But everybody has to eat, and everybody dies someday. So, run faster. <laughs>